Yeah! Kill that bloody track with those drones! Huh. What are you doing, Normie? First of all, I already told you to stop calling me this way. Second of all, I am listening to a new Metallica album. Really? You are a legit Normie. How can you listen to those long hair hippies? But soldier, James Hetfield doesn't have it now. And by the way, the founder of Megadeth, Dave Mustaine, also has a long hair. Anyway, they are a bunch of cracked hippies compared to the great Megadeth. Soldier, do you really want to start this bloody argument in 2022 when thrash metal is not even popular anymore? Yes! Uh, Alright, then tell me why, in your opinion, Megadeth is better than Metallica. First of all, let's look at thrash metal's roots. For the most part, they come from the big four bands of thrash metal, Megadeth, Slayer, Anthrax, and Metallica. Most of the thrash metal techniques were invented by their members, primarily Dave Mustaine from Megadeth. This proves the fact that Megadeth is even just technically better than Metallica. Alright, soldier, I see your point, but you can't deny the fact that Metallica was the first thrash metal group out of this to be formed. So it was the first one to be introduced to music industry, leading to creating their own new sound that we now call thrash metal. Objection! But you should also understand that Dave Mustaine was a member of Metallica for a short but saturated period of time where he was the only one to create something new and interesting, including some guitar riffs and solos. Take that! But soldier, didn't he just kick him out Stop of the band? Shut your civilian ass mouth up! He left that commie group himself! And created a new band, Megadeth. Yes? I know. Got any other arguments, soldier? Let's talk about songs and albums. Alright, let's do this. Well, as I have mentioned before, Dave Mustaine is a great guitar player. Who created lots of thrash metal guitar techniques, riffs, and solos that are still highly valued now. But Metallica's members are better songwriters. Who wrote better lyrics? Well, if you can call a list of killing options a lyrics. Ah, I can easily prove you that Megadeth had better lyrics. Okay, let's check. Pick their random song. Uh, 44 minutes. All right, let's see. Standard police issue guns were just not enough. But SWAT arrived and settled the fight between a K-47 and an R-15. Soldier, what the fucking nonsense did I just read? It literally sounds like it was written by an eight-year-old after playing a police quest game. That's why I love it. It's the only language I can understand. That good old language of violence. Soldier, I your arguments your make why no are you still think bitching Hey, right? what are you two clockwoods talking about? We are having a deep and intelligent conversation about thrash metal. Oh, Mel, you say? Then you should probably know that I am a huge and proud fan of Nickelback. <laughs> <laughs> Get out the here! You know me, fag! That's even more shameful than being a communist. So that's how the conflict between two thrash metal fans was resolved. And from that day, Scout was called a normie fag when he tried to talk to anyone. And one day, he just hanged himself. The moral of this story, kids? Never listen to Nickelback and never compare the two magnum opuses of thrash metal. The end. Subscribe or I will eat your ribs, maggot!